Good evening, everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm also fine. Today, I'm going to show you how you can install WordPress in Google uh, Cloud in Kubernetes. So um, in Google Cloud, GCP, we have uh, a managed Kubernetes service, which is called GKE, Google Kubernetes uh, Engine, I think. That's the in abbreviation. So uh, here we are going to uh, launch a new cluster using uh, the shell terminal here. And then we are going to install a WordPress using Helm. So let's get started. <coughs> Sorry. I am in my GCP account and I see I get a free credit of $300 in Google Cloud. If you sign up using your Gmail, then you will also receive a $300 credit. You can use those credit to launch the cluster and do all those experiments. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing first, um, I'm going to click here, the Cloud Shell. So the Cloud Shell is a very uh, interesting way to run your comments. It is kind of a, like virtual machine, but in the cloud, and then it's kind of a, like your Linux machine in the cloud. You can run all the comments and then it's, uh, it's very uh, like, Easy, easy to use, and you don't have to have a local PC for that. Okay, I'm going to click here to open in a new window. Um, in Google Cloud, you need the project ID. So this is my, you need to create a project. And then uh, that is the very first thing. I'm have created a project GK cluster and now I'm inside the project. I'm going to create the cluster inside the project. So I'm going to copy this project ID that is required. <clears throat> and you need to run this command to uh, give authorization the cloud shell for the project. So the command is G cloud config set project and then the project name. Sorry. I have to copy the project ID here. <laughs> it will ask your permission. So give the authorization now. Yeah. Once the authorization is done, then you will see that the project ID is given in this shell. So let's clear the screen. <laughs> to create a new cluster, you need to use this command, gcloud container clusters, and then uh, create. So give it a name like Atik WP, and then give it a region. I am going to use US just one. And then uh, number of nodes. Number of node equals to one. Okay. <laughs> okay. This takes around four to five minutes time. So I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back when the cluster is ready. <laughs> okay. So I'm back uh, and I can see my cluster creation is done. So this is the name of my cluster. Location is US East 1. Master version is 1.27. That is the, <clears throat> I think, Kubernetes version. This is the IP. Machine type E2 medium. Node version 1.2.73. Number of nodes 3. Status running. That's good. Now let's go to the Google Cloud. And here, if we uh, type in this search box, GKE cluster dashboard, it will we can open that in a new tab and then uh, view the clusters in the UI as well. You see, this is my new cluster that has been created. It's in US East 1. If I include to the details, view all integrations. So, like manage Prometheus and all the other things are here. Okay, <clears throat> that's of uh, that is for setting up a cluster. That's be done. Good, we are done. 
Now what we are going to do is we are going to use Helm and then use WordPress from there. So I'm just going to search Helm WordPress Bitnami. Then we should be redirected to a uh, GitHub repo. So here it is. There has been some instructions given. The good thing about this Cloud Shell is they already have installed Helm over there. You don't have to install Helm. So that is kind of quite interesting. So let's go to one folder up into the WordPress. And actually, this is the command. Helm install my release WordPress. Let's, let's copy and paste it here. Simple instruction, helm install my release, WordPress. This is now installing the WordPress using helm and then uh, it will create a load balancer, assign an IP to the load balancer and it will give us all those informations here. So let's uh, two or three minutes for this process. <clears throat> okay. Our WordPress creation is done. So here is the output. WordPress version is um, 6.4.2. That's good. And then this is the password. I'm going to copy this line. And then run into the PowerShell or Cloud Shell. So this will give me the password. This is the password. Okay. Copy this and put it in a notepad. Okay. Then uh, if I go in uh, the search box, then search for load balancing in the network services. So if I go to the load balancing, I will see uh, a new load balancer is created. And uh, there I will receive my IP address. Yeah, here is the new load balancer. It is network load balancer. And then if I click here, I go to the details of the load balancer and here I should receive the IP address. Here is the IP, if I copy this IP and Let's open a new tab and then go to that IP. Connection is not private, that's good, but I just wanted to browse it. Okay, here is our WordPress, right? So we don't have any uh, SSL setup yet, but this is our WordPress. And then if I link a subdomain, So let's do that. See, oh, so this is IP address. Uh, I click WP, give it a name. And let's see, I think WP dot uh, XYZ. Okay, here is actually our WordPress. Connection is secured. The connection is uh, secured by our uh, Cloudflare. And then if we go to WP admin, sorry. And then here is the password. User is, username is user. Password is the password that is copied. And here it is. This is our WordPress, we have SSL, and it's running in the Google Cloud. So that's it. That's it, the video for today. I hope you like this video on Google Cloud. If you, you can use Google Cloud uh, uh, GKE, Kubernetes Managed Service, to run your Kubernetes cluster over there. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you like this video at all. Thank you. I love this.